Right everyone, this is Sheila. It's the last day of April. April the 30th, 2022. I got the train early. The 6.49 from Weston to Taunton. Got the 7.40 bus, the number 28 from the station. Railway station to Bicknola. I was going to Crocombe but I've decided to leave that for a little while because I did want to do the Trendle Ring. So I'm over at Bitnoller, I've just walked through. I don't like videoing with this big camera, but I'll do a little bit. Unfortunately, all the work I did on it in a walk on the Mendips the other day over at uh, Sanford Quarry and everything, I erased all by accident. I thought I'd saved. I thought I'd already saved it all and I hadn't. So all the stuff I'd done with my, with this camera, all the videos, everything was lost. But fortunately I did use Sony as well. And Sony did capture the part of the walk I really wanted to capture. Sony worked. So fortunately I was able to I was able to um, share those. I haven't shared them yet, but uh, yeah, I was I was a bit upset because I'd actually done some lovely images of the quarry. It was a lovely sunny day, very quiet and peaceful. But I didn't miss out a lot because the walk I'd done that day, I've done several times. And what I've said to myself, and I said it at the time, I want to do the walk in reverse. So that'll be a mission, possibly next week. And I'll end up at the quarry again. I'll end up at the quarry. And include the Robo Hill Fort as well. That's plan A. But here we are, folks. Bick Noller Hill. I'll be coming down here on the way back. I'm doing a circular trip today. I'm going up past the, the Trendle Ring, an ancient, very ancient feature. I don't know if it's Iron Age or before that. I'm going up what's called the short pathway to the top and then I should pick up the main routes going over towards Dalesborough Hillfort. I will be using Sony as well when it decides to work. But I thought I'd try this one out now. You can hear the stream behind me. So I'm going to turn off now, but I'll be going up there now and coming back here several hours time. The walk will also include Holford and coming up through the Coombs, up through Hodder's Coombe and Shepherd's Coombe to Bicknoller Post and then over. That's plan A, everyone. That's plan A. So anyway, over and out for Just now. another little brief video. I've just, the, I'll just go back up a second. Um, the Trendle Ring's just come into view. <sighs> Obviously, it was a good job I identified it when I was on the bus as well, actually. I could see it sticking out. And um, I just go up a little bit. I took a picture of it a minute ago, and then I thought, well, you won't be coming back this way for a bit. The Trendle Ring, the sun's in the way, but it's up there. Start of the Trendle Ring. It sticks out more around the corner. And the idea was to try and get up there and explore it en route to my walk. I know that I'm going up something called Short, short Lane or Short Walk in a minute and, and I, I walk at the base of it, of the Trendle Ring. Now at the moment I'm going down, I'm just doing a little bit with this video, with this Kodak. Like I said, it's not as good as the Sony, but it'll do for now. Oh, look at the green on oh, this beautiful oak tree though, folks. Look at the lush greenness and the healthiness of this lovely oak tree. This, I'm going down into a little 
valley of oak snow down here. They all look lovely. They're all out to greet me on this lovely spring day. The last day already of April. I love April and it's gone. It's going. This is my last day of April, folks. Out here, ever. Trendle Ring's up there on the hill where the sun is. I've been here, I've walked this path before when I was looking for Paradise Coombe. Some of you might remember that was in the autumn time. Actually, I can see a pathway over there. I might have, if I can get to it, I can see a pathway going right near the base of the Trendle Ring. It might pay me to try and get on that. Though there might be a way. I don't want to go walking through bracken and stuff. There might be a way up there. I can see a... That is the Trendle Ring, you see? That hill there. I can see a path walking round it. I'll just see if there's a way up. Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute. Right, just a short movie with Kodak. I've climbed up a very, very steep climb. You wouldn't imagine it. I've taken those photos. And right down the bottom there, I've come up what's called Short Lane. Now, a few months ago, I had pictures I took of the deer and that by those trees over there. I'm going to be skirting over the top in a minute. But I'm on the Trendle Ring, everyone. This is a grade one listed site. And when I put the video on, I'll explain more about it. But it's an, you can see it from a distance, carved out in the landscape. I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around it. But I'm going to, another time, I'm going to find an easier way up because that was really hard, to be quite honest. I did it, but I probably had to stop about five to ten times. I'm walking around the Trendle Ring, by the way. It's all this here. I see the part of it when I came before, but I didn't do... As far as I know, I don't think I came this far down. I'm not going back down again. I'm just going to walk around a bit of it. I don't know what the video would be like. Um... I don't know. I'm just following this little can talk. <sighs> yeah, I came from right down there. It might look easy going to through that slope, but further down it was really, really, ver not vertical, but very, very steep. <sighs> it's really, mo I tell you what though, it certainly moved my rib cage. Yeah. I'll probably be coughing for days or the muck's going to come up out of that. So this is the Trendle Ring. You don't know, when you're on it, you don't realise you're on it, if you know what I mean. It's one of those sort of features. Like if you go on those big white horses or anything, when you're on them, you know you're on chalk, but you can't always see the outline of the horse when you're actually on it. Some sheep up there. Hiya! I'm just going to do a general walk round and I'm going that way. Yeah, I didn't come this far down. But I know there must be another way up here that isn't as steep as that. And it went on and on. I never thought I was ever going to get... Well, I wasn't even at the top. I'm glad I branched off. Look at that scene, everyone. Very misty, so you can't really see my Ned, which is over that way. You can't see Dunkery Beacon either. Not really. It's very, very misty today. I don't think it's going to change either. Down there, I'll just zoom in to the village of 
Bickmuller and I passed the church half an hour, hour ago I expect now and I'll be going past it on the way home later. I got out there two hours earlier than usual because I wanted to do this bit. But I'm now going to go back up. And I've got a feeling this bit, this bit here really sticks out, this bit I'm on now. This ridgy bit. This bumpy, humpy bit is what you can see from a distance, what I'm on now. This will really stick out this ridge. Like a patchwork quilt everywhere, isn't it? The main minehead road down there. Even if, if I was on my way now, I still wouldn't have got here yet. I still wouldn't have got here. We're going to climb up that bit and then over the top. We're going for Dowsborough Hill for I reckon I probably came to where those sheep were on the previous visit here in March. So I managed to squeeze an April visit in to Quantox. Managed to squeeze one in. Yeah, I think for every which way you come, it's going to be hilly. I followed a path right down the bottom there, see? Right, over in that, 